four years in the making and you're really looking at every single detail and that's why you're here today because with the single you know people in the studio uh, people in a music meeting has have gotten the chance to hear the record and have also heard the the second single you put out which is floating around on the internet too so which is make the world go round featuring r kelly yes sir so yes another those, great one um those are the only two songs off the album that you will be able to hear before the album <laughs> comes out and uh, they both really hold a special place in my heart as all the songs okay. do um you know but make the world go round featuring r kelly um was a journey to say the least i I flew to Chicago eight times over 20 months to recruit R. Kelly. I went to six shows on his tour in random cities in America. I went to Barnes & Noble, bought his book, and waited in line for seven hours to get to the front. I literally took 15 trips over 20 months to recruit him to get this record made. And it's literally the most... I can't even think of a word. Tiring? It is, it, it, it is, oh, no, I was talking about the record, not the journey. No. <laughs> right. The journey, the journey, honestly, by the end, the journey was emotional. When I got a text from him after 20 months saying, come to Chicago, I'm done. So I literally had a tear in my eye, and now we're shooting a video for their record. So that song holds a very special place in my heart. And um, your Calling All Hearts is just... I knew from the second we began that record that it would be a definitive anthem of the project. And if you if you watch the behind the scenes video, which you should all watch, um, and you should go to youtube.com slash DJ Cassidy and watch a seven minute behind the scenes look into how I created Calling All Hearts. And you'll see how it started with me and my partner building the foundation and the songwriter Claude Kelly, who's written everything from Miley Cyrus Party in the USA to um, to um, you know, grenade for um, you know Bruno Mars literally has been an amazing records for amazing people, and then you see me go in the studio with Earth Wind and Fire, Niall Rogers, John J. R. Robinson, Jerry Hay, such amazing icons from this era, and then you see me with Robin and Jesse, and you see the song coming to life, and the video is the making of my single Calling All Hearts, but it's really symbolic of how all the songs on the album were made. So, labor of love, that's what it comes down to. It and when you're on YouTube, I gotta give you credit. The birthday party, spectacular. Oh, thank you. You, you did know. your research. I'm, I'm very, I'm very yeah. flattered. Oh, well, I'm, again, I've heard your name, you know, the last couple of years. But uh, here, going back to the DNC, that was the, the the turning point when they're like, "Oh yeah, Cassidy's gonna come." So I'm, you saw that actually when it was on TV. When it was on TV. But so I, you were watching Dateline. Yes. So you're a smart man. <laughs> Many people nowadays in the entertainment industry don't watch Nightline. Is it, it's a Nightline or Dateline? Oh my God, they would both. kill me for no, saying wait, No, wait. but there was one very great Nightline. segment. It, it was Nightline. Nightline. Yeah. I only thought my grandmother watched Nightline. Like she <laughs> called me, like crying, you well, know, she, but like I didn't know if anyone else. And she said, hey, Trey, call or watch the, watch the show. It was like, hey, that's the guy I'm going to be interviewing in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, seriously, when that all happened, it was the greatest thing because the energy to that. I mean, yeah, okay, I normally don't say what my, my political affiliation is, but I wanted Barack to win, whether... Me say, too. Right. And I'm you proud know. to say. <laughs> Anyone. But you brought something to the table, but when that little, you know, highlight from the, the Nightline feature, I'm like going, wow, okay, so this guy's here with me, but I see two sides. Not the party rocker side, but again, the guy that's with the labor of love with the project and the dedication you're putting to this project and then the common deno denominator, Nile, or Nile. And, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, and I respect that, you know, because not too many people will really understand that. There are people that love music from the 80s. Um, some people don't associate it because, you know, you got the new generations coming in. They like this, they like that. But somebody who, again, 10 years old, gets two turntables, a mixer, surprised to get it, you should have asked for a Mercedes Benz, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm like, he messed up there. If he well, got that, <laughs> I would just be driving a 1992 Mercedes Benz, and I wouldn't be here putting out an album. True, but I would have took the car too. You should have asked for both. That's the bottom line. But again, it's a, it's a great thing to see people with that passion to to have that because there is a story. We can, we as DJs can say, oh, the latest single by DJ Cassidy, and people say, oh, this is like the new Robin Thicke, but they don't know. And what four or five years in the making of this that's dedication you know and 20 months to get to 
uh, an artist like Art Kelly. It's a major deal. You want perfection. And, and that's what you know we're trying to see as well to further that because we've known the name and now there's the producer side of it. So, you know, and again, I you know, really appreciate you coming through too. Well, thank you. you know, thank you for having me. It was, it was an honor to be here. The one thing you learn, DJ Cassidy, I mean, bottom line, should have got a Mercedes, should have asked for that, and you can't you can't hire this guy from the Yellow Pages either. <laughs> Book DJ Cassidy for the next bar mitzvah, but it'll cost you unless you want. I've done venues. a couple bar mitzvahs. You're right, I've right. Done a but couple. What's the going rate, anyways? For, for I DJ can't Cassidy? talk about that, but I will tell. <laughs> but I will tell you. But I will tell you the last bar mitzvah I performed at. Sure. So did Fifty Cent, Aerosmith, The Eagles, and Tom Petty. There you go, and that sums it up. So. I'll be looking. In, I'll be looking in the yellow pages for the DJ for my wedding or something like that down the road. <laughs> no, I got you. I got there you. It is. My man in the studio, DJ Cassidy. Tell everybody the name of the album. It's dropping in June, correct? Or yes. Okay, party people. This is <laughs> DJ Cassidy. My debut single is entitled "Calling All Hearts," featuring Robin Thicke and Jesse J on iTunes now off my debut album "Paradise Royale" out this June. There it is. We'll appreciate it, man.